this, uh, this afternoon I titled my short reflection, Why Don't Your Disciples Fast Like Others Do? Why don't they? This is a question that was posed by the Pharisees and the scribes. You know, we human beings are a broken lot. I don't know whether you have the same experience. <laughs> we are broken in so many ways. And uh, it is, have you ever lived with someone who thinks there is only one way, one style, one method of doing something? And that one method is what they, they themselves are familiar with? Have you ever lived with someone of that kind? Well, Jesus in our gospel today is dealing with a similar situation. The Pharisees and the scribes confronted him about why his disciples didn't follow the devotional practices that everyone else followed. To them, there was only one road to holiness, and his disciples weren't following that path, and that was a huge problem to them. Why are you not following what everybody else follows? And this is a problem. The bottom line of Jesus' answer is that God's spirit works in multiple and diverse ways. Some of those ways may be new to us, some unheard of, and some may even be shocking to us when uh, we see the spirit working. And he encourages the, the Pharisees and the scribes and all his listeners to be attentive and open to the promptings of the Spirit because the Spirit sometimes works in ways that are just totally unexpected. So, some of you are aware that in this great nation of the United States, there is a time when black people are not allowed to go into the seminaries, Catholic seminaries in this country. Because, you know, they were asking, you know, how could God call a black person to become a priest? That is, uh, how could God call a black person to become a priest that uh, he can be able even to be able to preside at mass and call down the Holy Spirit to come and uh, turn the body, the bread and the wine into the real body and blood of Christ? It was simply unimaginable at that particular point. That was the understanding then of how God worked. That was the understanding at that particular time. However, when the Spirit of God kept prompting people, the Spirit of knowledge and wisdom and good counsel, insistently convicted and purified the conscience of the understanding of people, there was great openness and matters changed after that. Within our own church, there are also people sometimes who think their devotional practices or their spirituality is the only one that should be promoted. You've seen people like that. Everything else needs to be shut down, and this is the only way that everybody should go. Well, while those devotional practices are good and they support to the spiritual lives of many people, they are not the only ones. God uses so many other devotional practices and associations to lead the people to him. And we've seen the fruits of that. And it's all within the same uh, womb of God. The Lord, in our readings today, cautions us about being too quick to judge the methods and the interior dispositions of others. He encourages us to delay judgment sometimes, and also allow him to take the lead on judging people and their motivations. We have to be convinced that in the end, light and the truth will rise up to the top. So just to be patient and allow that to happen. And for this kind of thing to happen, it calls for a lot of humility on our side. That there might be other things that we may not be able to know and there might be other things that we were not seeing. So it takes a lot of humility for us to be able to allow God to be in charge of those kinds of uh, judgment calls that happen in life. Today might be a good day again for us to ask ourselves, in what ways can I be less judgmental of other people, especially of their spiritual lives? 
it is a good day for us to ask ourselves, in what ways can I be more attentive to the diverse ways the Spirit of God works in our world, in our church, and even in our, uh, in our f- families? Believe it, sometimes God works in ways beyond our understanding. And as we continue with our Mass, may we allow ourselves to be surprised by God. Amen. Amen.